you guys <clears throat> it's me it's Jess um, I just thought I'd do a quick video I just felt like talking and stuff so I don't even really know oh, excuse me hey what kind of topic I'm gonna talk about um, I think I'm gonna focus on um, being in the present moment and in the present um, a lot of um, people like to practice being in the present moment and stuff and um, which is great and it's amazing but to me and my journey it was more than just learning how to be um, in the moment um, what do they call it mindfulness and DVT um, it was more than that it is more than that um, it's to be in the full moment I believe like over time you have to take away old behaviors and stuff like um, from the past and like it is unbelievable as I'm searching for myself in myself for things the things that I do that are actually from the past that like I never even knew I did or seeked out or like relationships or like anything and it's just like it's this huge like onion that you just pull apart and it's never ending and I'll always be doing that um, but it's just crazy how much I'm living in the past even though I wasn't aware because psychologically my psychological, we'll call it, timeline is, uh, it's, it's very, like, in the past more than the present. So it's, like, taking away all that kind of stuff, too. Um, like, for instance, um, I still, like, I was still seeking out, um, in the past kind of relationships like um, how do I put this like friendships with people I was seeking out um, especially with males I was seeking out like um, past trauma and I didn't really notice it until recently and realized that the relationship that I was having with the people or person whatever friend this is that I was actually living in the past rather than in the present and I find relationships, you start to, like, you start to see who's more able to live in the present with you than the past. and have to start making decisions on relationships and um, how much time you want to put into them and stuff. But um, I live in the past quite a bit. Um and I'm working on it and working on it and working on it and I'll get there I'll get there to a point where like it won't be as like hard it kind of just flows now like I'm kind of like I'm just aware of things and um, sometimes I'll get stuck in like a closed-minded kind of tunnel with something in my life and then I'll almost like bottom out with that or I'll have a realization and I'll realize that you know, hey, this is past behaviors I'm doing, you know, and then I'm able to kind of change them and stuff. But, like, the best advice I can give to you for changing the past behaviors and stuff is it's not just going to happen. It's not just going to happen. Like, it's going to take time. It's going to take maybe years. It's going to take six months. It's going, to, it's going to be different for every person. But it's going to take time to work through these things. Um, yeah, so being in the present to me is like being in the present moment is wonderful. It's like meditation. It's like letting go of everything, being in the present, but it also has an aspect of work besides meditation that's like working on the past and even the future, like I can get caught up in the future and get so worried about things 
that like have not even happened that probably won't even happen and then all of a sudden I'm in the future again my psychological clock is in the future and it's like well I don't like it's not helpful and like I can feel a shift and a difference when I'm like that when I'm in the past and the future and stuff because I'm starting to become so aware of everything um but yeah I just like I just basically become willing to work on whatever issue comes up and whatever behavior I realized from the past. And it's a matter of like looking over a long period of time in your behaviors and stuff and like what were you seeking out? Like what were you seeking out in friendships or in, in say you were sleeping around or like what was it that you were seeking out? What were you really trying to get? And like really looking at the core of things because um, especially through our sexual behaviors, that can really tell you a lot too. Um, what is it you were trying to get? Like, and why were you trying to get it? That's what I always ask myself. What am I trying to get through this? What kind of needs am I trying to get? And why am I trying to get this? And where does it come from? And once you start to learn all that stuff, you like start to feel freedom over time because you can let it go like let things go and stuff like that so um i just i don't know i don't the best advice i can give to you is there's a book i read and it's, oh, it's something enlightenment i don't even know what it's called but it was like a really awesome book if anybody's interested in it um just write below and then like i'll get to you the name of that book it's somewhere um, and it really, really helps me, like, see a whole new perspective of being in the present, um, open my mind up to more being in the present and what it actually meant. So, there's, like, the meditation and being in the present and the moment, um, which is great practice to train your brain and it's great and it's relaxing and it's great and it's an escape and it's it's just wonderful um and then there's kind of that working through all those deep stuff and stuff like that so um yeah that's pretty much it uh i'll probably let you guys go um we'll see if i post this video i don't know i feel like i was all over the place but um I mean, that in a nutshell is pretty much how I've been getting better, um, and a few other things. I should, like, do a video just on, like, the main things on what I've done to get myself better, but, um, it'd be a long video, but it might be good. So, I love you guys. Talk to you guys later. Subscribe. Thumbs up.